welcome back to Let's Talk HP Lovecraft. We are just two days away from New Year's, but we're still rocking and rolling on the content here. Uh, this will be, I want to say about 640 videos for the year, so we have been busy. And uh, today is no exception. Uh, first video of the day, looking at Old Bugs, the short story from HP Lovecraft written sometime around July 1919, but not published until well after his death by Arkham House. Um, in a book called Shuttered Room and Other Pieces, um, that was again 1959, well after his death. Uh, the story uh, is supposedly um, suggested by and based upon his friend uh, Alfred Galpin, um, who, who said that he wanted to be sure to try alcohol before the beginning of Prohibition, which was coming very soon. Um, I think, uh, although apparently Lovecraft did not approve of uh, drinking, he probably should. I think it could have helped his temperament a little bit, uh, help him loosen up and uh, enjoy life a little bit more. Sound like he was not a very happy dude. So, Old Bugs is um, this is a character, is a guy. Uh, he's this old burnout drunk uh, working at a Chicago pool hall called Sheehan's around 1950. Uh, he does sort of odd jobs uh, in return for drugs and money, or drugs and beer. <laughs> um, nobody knows much about this guy, but that he carries this sort of uh, old, like 30 year old photo of a beautiful woman who looks to apparently be sort of above his, his pay grade, above his class. Um, he carries it, but um, nobody really knows anything about him. You know, occasionally he'll... Um, have a good moment, use some big words, maybe sort of stand up a little bit taller, seem a little bit more noble than he otherwise is. Um, but he's really just a mystery, and he's, you know, typically babbling drunk. Excuse me. So one day, this uh, young man named Alfred Trevor comes into uh, Sheehan's for his first sort of taste of hard alcohol, of hard living. And... We hear of his tale how this uh, Wisconsin sort of college age uh, native um, uh, was raised by this very strict mother who uh, once uh, once upon a time was briefly in, in love with and engaged to a man who became a hard drinker and as a result uh, she sort of became a strict um, a strict part of his or was strict in her upbringing of him. Um, didn't really approve of all of this, uh, all this kind of fun and uh, carrying on. Um, so he's coming in for his first drink. At which point, um, hearing this story, Old Bugs has an outburst. He knocks the the whiskey away from him and uses his mop handle where, that he was cleaning the floors with to break down all the bottles off of the bar. And just after this, uh, the cops come, but he falls over dead, never to get up again, obviously. Um, they're, they're looking at this photograph, um, you know, seeing if there's somebody they should contact, but there's really no way of doing that. Eventually, the photograph gets passed over to young Alfred Trevor, uh, who would recognize the picture because he has the same photo on his mantelpiece at home, <coughs> and the, the person on the mantelpiece, the person in the photo is his mother, who was once old Bugs's fiance. Um, uh, that's your synopsis. Just a quick analysis here. Uh, the story is supposedly about Lovecraft's friend. I think it sort of parallels Lovecraft's life better. Um, the idea of having this sort of stern, overprotective mother who was also wasn't very um, loving and nurturing um, sounds definitely like Lovecraft's life. Um, Story has no supernatural element whatsoever, um, which is probably one of the reasons why it didn't get published until after his death. I'm not really sure if he ever tried to submit it or anything like that. Um, but, um, you know, it's, it's very, um, it's very mildly a weird tale in that it has this incredible coincidence. Uh, but there's no supernatural element, no, um, no old gods, nothing like that. But it's still, it's a, um, it's a great, well-written comedic story that probably deserves a place in the, sort of the canon of, um, 20th century lit of this style. 
Oh, uh, um, another thing going on here is this theme of degradation that is running through pretty much all of Lovecraft's work. Um, usually it is, involves, you know, interbreeding with, um, <laughs> with alien beings and, and things like that. In this case, it's just a, um, a regular, um, um, white person, which, you know, there's stories about Lovecraft's racism, but, you know, here is a sort of an upper class white person who is kind of laid low by alcohol. So it's, it's, it's actually some of Lovecraft's sort of least controversial commentary on, uh, moral and social and, um, racial degradation. Um, all of this aside, it is charming, charming, well-written, um, not so weird, but still a little weird. Um, and it's a morality tale at its heart, uh, it's, it's warning against the evils of, uh, the evils of strong drink, which, you know, I've done 200 and... 42 beer reviews on this channel, so I'm not really concerned with that story. And I do think that uh, Lovecraft uh, could have used a little bit of alcohol to uh, loosen him up and um, maybe make him enjoy his short life a little bit more. <laughs> all right, guys, that is all I have to say about Old Bugs. Uh, it's a decent story. Uh, take you 20 minutes to read, so I highly recommend it. Uh, please subscribe to our channel, and I will see you again soon.